All right, in this video, we're gonna continue showing our new lineup of cabinets. Uh, these cabinets include everything you need to play over 6,000 of your favorite games. All of the components are included, mounted, and pre-wired. You just use the provided cam lock system to assemble the cabinet and riser. Components include a Raspberry Pi 4 computer, fully configured, 19 inch upgraded monitor with HDMI input, lighted marquee, wire control panel for one player multi-cave, with dual joystick capability, mounted four inch speakers, mounted and wired switch socket and power strip. Today we'll walk through our Model W assembly and we'll feature more cabinets soon. The Model W is unique and built around old school games such as Defender or Stargate, as well as dual joystick games such as Robotron, Total Carnage, or Smash TV. With the included riser, these are approximately 60 inches tall with the controls at a standard 35 and a half inch height. Choose your T-molding, edging, cabinet, and riser colors, control colors. Choose from previous customer graphics or have our artwork team lay something out custom for you. Shipping is included in the continental U.S. and we have discounted international shipping. Again, everything needed to play is included. Simply put together the cabinet and the riser with the included cam lock system and you're ready to play. Let's walk through features and assembly of this Model W cabinet. All right, so we'll start with the right side. Uh, put down a towel or something to protect the artwork. Uh, you'll lay it down and you will, everywhere there's a cam screw, you'll essentially just screw that into all the cam holes. Uh, you have these couple little brackets here with the two short screws that you put in there to hold the monitor in place. Just so you guys can see, that's where they all go. So let's, uh, let's start putting this together. Okay, so we're going to start at the top, work our way down. We will do the monitor uh, last. So. Uh, this first piece has a T-molding on the front and the large slot. It will already be ready for the, um, it'll already be ready to light up the marquee. So I just put that down on the first two cam screws and tighten that in. And we'll go ahead and assemble this marquee area. Okay, so um, I went ahead and put in this bottom piece here. Again, that has the uh, smaller slot on it. Lock the cams in. So you can see where the, uh, the plex is going to go down in there. Uh, so I have the plex with the marquee print. It's two pieces of plex. Marquee's just sandwiched in between. I will uh, attempt to do this one-handed somewhat, but that'll just slide down into there um, once I get it placed. So let me go ahead and get that placed, and I'm gonna show you guys that, and I also wanna talk about why this slot's so big at the top. We will offer this as an upgrade um, in the future, this monitor for a digital marquee, so it doesn't come with it, uh, but will be an upgrade, but you guys can see how that's just gonna slide into that slot and then it'll lock in right there on that one side um, as you put it together. And then the print will have a hole in the middle and that's where the digital marquee would, would come through. So as you pick game to game, um, that'll change. So this cabinet, uh, these cabinets that we have, are they're, they're ready for them. Um, it's just a matter of doing that upgrade when you want to. But for now, I'm just gonna do the, the standard plex and the standard print. So we'll keep uh, working our way around here. Okay, so I'm going to talk about a couple things. I went ahead and hooked up the little 12 volt power supply and just ran that to the bottom uh, for the lights here. And then this board right here is this board. It's just a standard black board. Uh, it's the only board that will fit here, but I just want to warn you, there's three of these support boards that look very similar. Uh, the cam lock holes are different, so these wouldn't fit and that wouldn't fit. So if you're getting frustrated, look, if it has the little pre-drilled holes, that's a support board. If it doesn't, then it's this top back board. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick that up and put that on right there and uh, tighten that up. Okay, so with the top backboard in, I went ahead and put in the support boards. For these two, you want the cams facing out of the cabinet. You won't see them because there's a board, the thin board that lays over this that you're gonna screw into the um, pre-drilled holes there. So you can see those two support boards are in place. So we will uh, we'll go ahead and, and start at the front now and work our way around. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is uh, put in the control panel. Again, this is going to come completely wired, ready to go. The only cable coming off of this is going to be your uh, USB cable that will plug into the Raspberry Pi. Uh, it's just got one cam lock on it, and it also will have uh, that catch on it. So basically, that's just going to go on that front one there. You can go ahead and lock it down and open it up so we can get the next board in. But you guys can see how, um, how that's going to go. And again, it's going to lock into the board below it. So I will tighten that cam, leave this slightly opened. For now, I will just put the uh, USB cable, just kind of let it hang here in the cabinet until uh, until we move on. Okay, so now we have this front board here. Uh, it has some graphics on it. 
I'm going to talk through the wiring here in a second. Everything's going to be pre-wired for the most part. There's just basically the power and the HDMI cable uh, and then the little audio cable. But these uh, speaker wires already come. They're ready to plug into the speakers. Um, you got your left and your right and then the one with the line. You can see here is on the positive side. So I'll just make sure and do that on the speakers, which again I'll show in a second. So this board goes with the clip facing up. And then it'll just go down on those two cams right there. So let me go ahead and put that on there and strap that in. Um, and then I'm going to show you the little speaker panel that we put down here um, next. And then just a quick how to wire this. All right, so the speaker panel uh, cams in again. The speakers will already be on here. You can look real close and you can see the plus on the right side right there and the minus. That's how you know to do the plus um, from each speaker here for the left and the right, the plus and the minus. So this is just going to go on this slot right there. I'm gonna put that down, lock it in, and then uh, we'll talk through just a couple little things to hook up here. Okay, so put the speaker panel on there. Uh, let's just talk through how to connect this up. Again, it, it's, um, most of it's already, it's all pre-wired for you. It's just a matter of connecting up the different components together. So let's start with the Raspberry Pi right here. There's a USB-C power that goes right there. Uh, you know, just standard power cable right there. A USB-C that comes with that. There are two HDMI plugs. Be careful, do not break these, because if you break these, you'll have to get you a new Pi 4. We do not plug these in because they're kind of brittle if you, uh, if you really jerk on it or jerk it up or something. So just be real careful when you use these two plugs. But there's an HDMI 0 and an HDMI 1. You want to be in the HDMI 0. That's going to be for your play field, your normal games. This HDMI 1, our card's already configured, so it will uh, play on a secondary monitor up here. If you put this up here, it'll show what the marquees are on this HDMI 1. So make sure in the HDMI 0 for what we're doing here, you have the 3.5 millimeter audio cable. That just plugs into the amp where it says MP3. There's only one place that can plug in in both locations. And then the one USB cord that's coming from the control panel, you'll just plug this into the top blue. This is on a Raspberry Pi 4 at the top blue or USB 3 port. That's where you plug that in. Uh, these are labeled as you guys saw left and right. So all I had to do is just put those on the speakers on the uh, positive and negative there. And that's it, that's how simple that is. Oh, the only other thing would be the power for the amp. So that's just a standard 12 volt power. So it's just hooking a couple of these things up. We have a diagram uh, to show you how to do that. Uh, but that's the quick walkthrough, it's super simple. It'll take, it'll take you maybe a minute uh, to plug all that in. So again, that HDMI, it's a standard HDMI plug here that's gonna plug into the monitor uh, when we put that in, which is one of the last steps. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to skip this front panel because this is one of the thin panels that will just slide in there. I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom and then do the back that shows how it's already wired for all the power. Okay, so put this bottom board in. Um, it has this hole here. It also has a hole in the riser. So that way if you need to run any cables through or something, it'll have these two holes as well. That's where the bolts will go in to bolt it to the riser so that way it's nice and sturdy. Uh, so now let's put in this back piece. Okay, so here's the back piece here. You can see um, the switch socket's already installed. That's where you can turn the unit on. You actually can put this board in. Let me show you guys this. You can actually put this board in either way if you wanted to, depending on which side you want easiest access. I'm gonna do it to where it's on the uh, left side of the cabinet. But you can do that board either way where it's easy to reach around and turn that on. This is where, uh, again, this is already all all wired up for you. you guys don't have to do anything just plug everything in there'll be there'll be four four total power things that you'll plug in the big thing is just make sure this is turned on uh, because if this is off and then you put your power cable in here and turn this on to the line and nothing boots up it's just because that power strips off so just make sure that this is turned on when you plug all that in so i'm going to go ahead and uh just set that down on those two bottom cams right there lock those up and keep going Okay, so I went ahead and put that last support board in there. So again, we'll put the um, the little quarter inch board that goes in front of that in that slot here in a second. But I put that in, those cams can face backwards or forwards. It won't matter, you won't see them either way, but that's that third support board. So we've got everything done. The last thing here is just to put the monitor in the slot. So you'll get your monitor. It'll be all wired up, ready for HDMI and the power. Uh, have the bezel on it. The wood will go into the slot here, and the uh, plex will not. It'll go on the outside, so let me turn this around and show you guys that this will just, uh, this will just fit right in that slot right there, like that. 
so you guys can see how that went in. Don't worry about, uh, I wouldn't screw those in yet. What I would do is I'm gonna go ahead and, and put the other side on. So to do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the top, I'm gonna put all the cams in the other side, right? In the left side. I'm gonna lock this up and just start working it in. Get a, get a buddy or a teammate here and just start working it in. And then make sure this goes in the side of the slot. Make sure this goes in the slot all the way. And then this front board, I'm gonna put that slot in. Make sure it goes in all the way. If, if a cam's kind of turned wrong, you'll see that because it won't go down in that cam hole. Uh, but more than likely, if the cabinet does not go down flush, it's either right here, the monitor, or uh, that front board. So just make sure those are in the slots good. You can slowly put some pressure on some of these cams and turn them. And if the cabinet's barely off, just kind of move these boards around, or those three spots around, and the cabinet will snap right into place. And once it does, just finish tightening all the cams. So I'm going to go ahead and, and put the cams on the other side, put this on, um, and we'll take a look. Okay, so I got that side on, um, tightened all the cams down. The, the last thing here is I just had to plug the HDMI cable. It came from the Pi. We already had that wired into here. And then the power cable, which is this little brick here. Uh, plug that in there. And then all four of these are plugged in and that's turned on. So uh, we're ready to set this thing up. All right, so that's about one of the coolest things ever right there. Uh, but that's all set up. So let's... Uh, in our other video, we actually show how to put the riser together. It's just cam locks. It's real fast. So this one, I'm just going to put it together and go ahead and put the unit on it and boot it up and talk through the interface. Okay, so you can see it's booting up right now. Uh, we'll walk through a couple games with this uh, layout here. Just so you guys can kind of see that. But riser looks awesome for this little multi -kit. Again, you can do whatever graphic set you want. Uh, but this is really designed for more of the Robotron, uh, Stargate, Joust style layouts. The way this is gonna work in the software, just while that's booting up, but uh, this is gonna be B, A, R, Y, X, L in the software. So B, A, R, Y, X, L. And then of course your coin, then you got your player one and your player two start, and then your two joysticks. So um, this interface, again, it'll boot up different each time. Uh, so I can change that, but let's go ahead and boot into a game and talk through it. The only two last steps on assembly is it comes with two bolts to bolt the, um, there's already holes in it, but just go in the back and bolt and then wing nut the uh, cabinet to the riser and then just screw the back on. It comes with four screws. The holes are pre-drilled, so you'll just set it up there and screw it on. But this thing looks completely awesome. All right, so let's let's play a few games. Okay, so I went ahead and changed the interface just so you guys could see. Uh, you can go in and change it to whatever you want. Uh, there's directions on it. It's super easy to do. Um, so what I want to show you guys, this is actually a more simplified layout uh, than like our Multicade. So our Multicade, obviously, it's easier to play a lot more games. You know, any of the ones that have these more standard Street Fighter setups uh, compared to this that, again, is designed for... Um, for more specific games, you can play all the games, but it's just obviously with the button layout. It's designed uh, for simpler games, so uh, Atari, Daphne, so Space Ace and Dragon's Lair, all that will play great on this. Dreamcast, not so much. Uh, a lot of the Genesis would play good on this. Not a lot of the Naomi, a lot of Neo Geo will. Uh, a lot of the NES will play pretty good on this. Not really the PlayStation, not really the Super Nintendo, because quite a few buttons. Turbo graphics work great, but here's here's uh, besides all the arcade games which are on here that are supported. Um, there there's some of these headers here that are diced up, so you got some Atari style games. Uh, those should work really well. Again, this is my back. Uh, there's some Konami games. Quite a few there. Some Midway. Some of these will be okay. Obviously, Mortal Kombat and stuff won't translate real well to this control set. Um, Namco would work really well. Just go down here and let you guys see some of this. There's just so much. All right, go back. Uh, these Nintendos will work really well. Uh, again, I'll show a video preview for everything. And just to show you too, this control panel, 
will open and there's your volume knob and access to the pie right there. So again, then it'll close shut nice and tight. But all these would work great. So you go back there. Shoot them up style games. These will work really well for this because really you're just going to use the, the coin start, the joystick, and then your, your shoot button right there. This is the tab I, I care about the most uh, for this machine. This Williams Classic tab. This is the one that's going to have all the stuff that's really good for this layout here. So just to show through a couple of these and then we'll play a few. These are all configured and set up for this layout already. So again, sorry, I'm just going to kind of go through the quick preview of these, uh, but we'll actually boot in and, and play a couple of them just so you guys can see that, how it works on the control panel. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show. Again, there's an all games tab, so this has everything. I mean, it just it's just going to go on forever and ever and ever. And a lot of the games will play great on this, and some of them, like again, Mortal Kombat and Street Fighters and, some, and, and, and games like that you really want a more standard layout uh, but a majority of all the kind of old school games will play great so that's going around on that so let's go ahead and boot in it and and do some uh and do some gameplay here all right so we'll go ahead and boot into robotron let that fire up again it's going to take it the games take the games a minute to boot up because it, they think they're the actual arcade so if you know, for the actual Robotron, if kicked it on, this is what it would look like uh, on initial boot. It'll do any tests if needed. So just show you guys this. I can add my money here, my coin button. I'm going to go ahead and press player two start so you guys can see two players. And again, this is the two joystick. You can see it's, it's working awesome. Uh, I'm trying to stay out of the way so, you got, so I don't block your view, but you guys can see. This is the player two, which would also play on the player one set of controls. Uh, but that's working great there. Alright, again, to get out of any game, you'll just hold down coin and hit start. So I'll do that. We'll go back to the menu you were on. Um, let's go ahead and hit Stargate here. This will be a little harder for me to show from the side. I'll let you guys get the, get the idea here. Alright, so add some money. Press play. Here's my thrust and fire right there. I got my reverse button. So you can see I can go up and down and then reverse that. Smart bomb, my Invisio. So everything's working exactly um, as you would expect. Alright, so I exit out of there. All right, so this game will work similar to, uh, uh, to Robotron did. So we'll go ahead and just set up one player here. So I'll run right into him. So you guys can see right there. This is working awesome. Expect. out of that. Uh, I guess we'll go one more here. Add some money. Play. And just to show you guys right here is going to be my flat button. Go there. So again, this thing is uh, this thing is beyond awesome. So if you're looking uh, for something unique, 
out there. Again, you can do any art art wrap that you want on this, uh, and it, but it is laid out for certain games. So this is this is something that would be different if you have a home arcade and you really want something different, especially around this style of games. Uh, this is a great option for you. So make sure and like the video, visit the website. Thanks.